Hello, Lonnie here in the studio. We have been working on paper mache and in the last video we were leafing uh, and I had a lot of beautiful silver and gold leafed pieces and now I have moved into some other uh, finishes and overlays. So today I'm gonna show you the progress that I've made on some of the paint finishes on the paper mache. So finishing over the gilt, uh, in this case, I'm going to show you on gold, but I did a bunch of silver, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, I'm using alcohol-based inks. I call them pinata uh, inks. This is a brand name, uh, pinata, made by uh, what, Jacquard. And uh, but you can also, uh, there are several brands. They're basically the, the ink that is in illustration markers or pens. Um, matter of fact, these are refills for um, markers. And I'll be... Um, mixing and um, cleaning out in porcelain uh, dishes just because it's easiest. Simple enough and a beautiful finish. Here are a bunch of pieces I did over silver leaf. It's just a beautiful finish. It's very magical. It's very toy-like. It's candy-like. It's like foil-wrapped chocolates. Gilder's paste works wonderfully on paper mache. I've got some here that's uh, from C.C. Cadwell's paints. That's sort of a wax, a copper wax. And then these are uh, traditional Gilders paste. A dab will do ya for a very long time. I think a lot of people will remember rub and buff. Uh, great stuff if it's not dried out. I like the little tins because you can reconstitute it with a little mineral oil or mineral spirits. So I think I'm gonna start with a little bit of this copper wax and I'm going to use just a rag because I think this ooh, this stuff is still really really nice and wax it's going to take very little So the blank pieces, the white pieces, 
where we all started from, right? I have had a few inquiries about um, where one obtains these, if you don't happen to be sitting around with a bunch of rubber molds of your own. And that led us to collaborating with our dear friend, Scott Lyon, and he has an Etsy shop called Pork Shop Show, where he sells, sells materials to artisans and artists, uh, lots of wonderful laser cut stuff. And he has agreed to sell our paper mache bits in sets so people can uh, purchase them and paint them up and use them however at will. So you can find us on Etsy at The Pork Shop Show, run by Scott Lyon. So I'm trying to get better at this video thing, this virtual thing, and uh, trying some new things each time. Please uh, check out my YouTube channel because that's really where I'm gonna put all the videos um, in the future. And that'll be sort of our base, base place. And it'll go out to social media from there. As usual, it's great visiting with you and I'll talk to you later.